this is a bit more philosophical. My name is Matea, I'm part of the Ship is Mine show here at the Inspire Gallery. I'm participating with three of my digital collages called Leaf Escapes, one, two and three, and one of my stop-motion animations called Cherna Voda, or Blackwater in translation. The whole project is based around Leafy and the way the river splits city into opposite parts, two opposite entities, south and north parts. It's just a branch of my project I'm working on for a year and a half called Balkanology. The reason why I decided to do a project on Leafy is because I found that there is so many cases where river is this ultimate divide between two different entities and the fracture zone between uh, territorial. There is the same case in my city, Zagreb, in Croatia, the capital of Croatia, where the Sava seems to be the ultimate divide between Balkans and Central Europe. So, following the same example and the same kind of pattern of river being this mystical force splitting territory into different parts, I decided to dig into Leafy and try to find this, this matter, this kind of uh, a substance that makes river so powerful. Hello, hi, I'm Mix D and I'm showing um, in Ship is Mine exhibition here in Dublin in Inspire Gallery and my work is uh, video based, it's also uh, animation too. The theme is called Unmentionables and it's all around censorship. Gubu Dolls is a novel using dolls instead of words and the concept is that uh, the, the artist makes it in the same way that an actor would get in the character and then make something the artist gets in the character and then makes the, the art, the artwork. So it's using recycled materials and found objects that the character would, would have at its disposal and it's part of a, a much wider um, work that has about 600 uh, dolls in jars and the, the voodoo doll as a symbol is very powerful and visceral because it, it represents in, in voodoo doll ideology you had to seal shut or sew shut the mouths of your victim so that the victim spirit couldn't escape and wreak revenge so imagine hating someone so much you'd, you'd sew their mouth shut so they'd be silent in the afterlife and I think this is a wonderful manifestation of silencing of people and individuals and it, it's, it's just a really visceral image of silencing and the, the dolls tell, the Gubu dolls tells the story from uh, Gubu's creation of life for no particular reason right up until the creation of the new world mind that's the basic story and the title of the work? Uh, Gubu dolls by Gubu particular panel is called the, the inspiration in inspire panel after the, the gallery that asked me to make it specifically to the, the size
name is Fiona Killeen. Uh, I'm a Dublin-based artist um, and I have a piece called Sound showing in the Ship is Mine exhibition in its bar gallery at the moment. On a very surface level, it's about sewing and masking and things that are hidden and just out of sight. It's also telling a story. Um, for me, it's telling a story about mental health in general, um, about how things can seem okay from a distance and beautiful, but then when you get up close, they're slightly out of focus, they're slightly off, they're not quite right, um, and they're hidden and things are missing and disappearing into the background. Um, in, in this piece's case, it's dementia. I think it's an important reaction for people to have to it, to feel like, oh, this, this isn't quite right. Um, because I think society, we judge things that aren't quite right as being therefore wrong. And you have to look closer to see that there's still a beautiful person behind the mask.